our older kids to school and now I'm going to eat some breakfast and finish putting away laundry. I'm going to do like three more loads of laundry before the babies wake up, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and hopefully today will be a fun day. Alright, hi guys. Um, I am on my way to the gym. This is what I look like when I go to the gym. I don't really do very much because it takes me a long time to get out of the house. Because I try to get this much done before we leave. Like, loads of laundry, put in away laundry. Something is going on. Um, yeah, I try to get as much done. And then I have to get the babies ready. There's two babies. Um, and so it just takes some time. So I really put myself in order and I go to the gym because I don't really care what I look like. But anyway, it makes me feel good so that's why I go. And um, also the babies really enjoy socializing there. Um, we go to the YMCA and they love it. So, um, so we go for both them and for me. Yay! Just a little bit. I'm just spicy. Not very much, but we did a little bit in the car. This is taking her out. Are you guys are gonna have fun. Huh? Yay. Okay, so we're Okay, we are getting in just got in the car from YMCA and as you can see I um after my workout I like to get ready because otherwise I won't ever get dressed and ready for the day so I have to do that um, it's so nice that they have the child care center so I can do that um, I have I was going to go run some more errands after this but I have two babies that I think are ready for naps um, and she's not very happy with me right now so I don't think she's gonna be in a good mood if we go run some more errands. Plus I need to go work on, um, my son needs, I think he needs an IEP. Um, and as his mom, I'm his advocate. So I need to go home and write a letter and I'm gonna pick him up at school in a little bit. Um, so I'll drop it off then. Anyway, you can see here there's a cranky little one so I better get going and feed her lunch and get her down for a nap so that I can go to the meetings um, here in a little bit. Um, anyway, see you guys soon. This is how much Bryson wants to be like his big sister. Anywhere she is, and he already had his lunch, anywhere she is, he wants to be too. So you can normally find Bryson under Ruthie, meaning she likes to climb things, so she's usually above her. Um, but now he is always wherever she is. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Hi. Hi. She's also throwing food at him, although he already had his lunch. Such a good big sissy. Guys, I have like a half hour to get this letter written. And I got these two. These two little monkeys. These two little monkeys. And the only reason why she's mad is because I won't let her play on mommy's computer. So, mm, what can we do? I don't know. What can we do? I don't know. Oh, oh, he's so sad. So sad, huh, Brayson? So we're doing round two. <laughs> we're trying to get the babies to go down for naps. Ruthie has already gone down for a nap. This one. Hopefully we'll go down soon. Crossing my fingers. Um, I did finish the leather, woohoo! It wasn't that hard. <laughs> I just needed to sit down and get it done. Um, I will post that um, a link on my blog about um, resources you can use if you're like me and want to make sure I get the you want to get the verbiage right for the IP. Um, Hopefully he goes down. Yum yum, eating dinner. The rest of us are still waiting to eat. Mmm. Mmm. I like the 
blackberries. Babies can't wait. They're hungry. Hi everybody. Good morning. Okay, so I just wanted to follow up because I know that um, I talked about um, writing an IEP letter um, to send a request for an evaluation. Um, I do want to spend a little bit of time talking about that um, just because there might be other moms or dads that um, feel like their child is struggling and it's obvious to you. Um, it might even be obvious to the teacher, but yet you feel like nothing's being done to, to really make a difference and you're seeing that your child's really, really struggling. Um, I have something to tell you. You, as the parent, um, have a right. You have a right to request an evaluation on your child. Um, now, that can be an IEP, Individual Education Plan for your child, or a 504 plan, um, which is accommodations for your child. Um, and this is my understanding of this. Um, as I learn a little bit more uh, as the parent, um, I will tell you. So anyway, I was really nervous about writing that letter. I wasn't sure how it was going to be taken. I don't know why I was so nervous about that, but I was. Um, I guess I was a little nervous I was going to offend this somebody. Who cares? This is my child I, I worry about, and so I went ahead and did it. Um, I had already been talking to um, his teacher and had asked for if we can do meetings or, and stuff, and I, I felt like I was kind of been given the wait, wait, wait. Now, it's hard for me to wait, especially since I've seen him struggle for over a year now. Um, I don't want to see him struggle this much anymore. And I don't think waiting really does anything. So anyway, I, I went ahead and wrote that letter and I'm really pleased with the results. Um, I turned it in on Monday, and by Wednesday, I received a letter back um, saying that it was received and for a meeting. Um, yay! That's exciting, and it's for later on this month. So, um, so I wanted to tell you, once you send in an official formal letter, um, the school or the district has 30 days to send back a reply. Um, also, I think it's 30 days to set up that meeting. Um, I want you to know that because they have to once that formal letter is sent. So I was really excited that I didn't have to follow up and be like, hey guys, when is this meeting happening? It came right away. It came back like that. So awesome. I'm really happy that the school and the district were able to respond that quickly. Very happy about that. Um, and so... I, I, I just want to make you aware of that. I am going to try to send some, like set up some resources on my blog um, that might make it easier for you to understand what an IEP is, what a 504 plan is, um, and how to send in a, an official request. Um, I know I was really nervous about the wording of it, and if I'm honest, and I will be honest here, last year I did send um, I think it was an email for an official request, but my wording, I, it wasn't taken serious. So this year, um, I found some sort of, well, I was given a layout for my letter and I followed it to a T and to get that type of response of within a couple of days, getting a meeting, very excited. So I will send you that layout.